Hello and welcome to my video. This is part two of um, the solid red kilt making video and uh, I really enjoyed the process so I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Now is the part where I'm thinning out the back and since it's a little bit um, nerve-wracking because I'm actually cutting the fabric I made myself a template <clears throat> uh, that has me cut one inch up from the bottom of the fell and gives me a just a little over 3 8 inch seam allowance. This pleat here makes the buttonhole. So instead of cutting it out like that, I'll cut it down like this. Um, the, method, the method I use, I cut it down to five inches and then straight over. So you can see there's the buttonhole. And this piece, a uh, piece of canvas will come up to here and then this will fold over there. But this little corner of fabric, this little corner of fabric is in the way. So I need to uh, clean that out. So there we go. And then that strap will come through there. Next I'm going to do a row of um, back stitch along here which is called steaking and it'll support the pleats from this side so I'm actually not doing the steaking yet I um, need to establish the front apron so I've pinned down what I want it to be and I've chalked uh, a line I'm gonna baste it and so this part
I'm trying to stitch down the canvas here and I made a mistake here. I sewed this and um, the pleats had kind of been, weren't evened out with the canvas, so I had to undo it. See the pleats kind of uh, stretch and they were kind of bunched up a little bit, I think. So I don't think I actually need that dart. I could have done a lot better with sewing a straight line though, also. But anyway, that's just why that won't be there later on. Here I've made the buckle part the way that the, my book has told me to do, which is to fold the fabric like this and then sew up the middle. Um, however, this fabric is so thick, it's resulting in this enormous thing. So, I mean, I don't mind it, but um, for the next one, I might try cutting it so that it meets more just like this. So it's that thick rather than that thick. Here's my second attempt. Um, I just did a stitch along here. So when you fold it up, it's overall much thinner compared to that one. Seems to work okay at this point. So here's the kilt. I still need to do uh, some final ironing on the inside. I ironed the outside. And all these white threads will be taken out. 
the, the basting threads. Um, this has been an interesting build, be, you know, project because uh, anytime I've ever made a kilt, it's been for myself. So with this, I wasn't able to just try it on to see if it fit or how well it fit. So um, this has been kind of harder than other projects I've I've done for that reason. So um, I'm pretty happy with, with the way the pleats came out. Uh, it's very interesting working with such a heavy fabric that's not intended for kilt making, it's intended for coats or something like that. Well, in any case, I just hope that it um, fits well and works well and lasts well. But it's been fun working on it and you can see in the footage that I started it when the weather was hot and, and finished it when the weather was cold. So it's taken me a little while, but it's my second uh, fully hand-sewn traditional, semi-traditional fabric kilt. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and checking out some of my other videos.